Queensboro President Melinda Katz says she is the winner of the hotly contested Democratic primary for Queens District Attorney. And she says now it's time to get to work on the pressing issues facing the borough. Katz sat down with CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer for an exclusive interview. Melinda Katz lives in the same Forest Hills house she grew up in. Her parents bought it 75 years ago. And after the bruising Democratic primary for Queens District Attorney, it was something of a relief to do something normal, show off her favorite photos of the two men in her life, sons Carter and Hunter. I find that the greatest letting my hair down days are those I spend just walking, you know, on a river with my kids. For the past month, things have been topsy-turvy, a nightmare. On election night, she was behind left-wing challenger Tiffany Caban by about a thousand votes. Absentee ballots gave her a 16-vote edge, and the just-completed recount has her up by 60. And even though Caban is vowing a court challenge, Cast is moving on, talking about when she takes office, not if. Gun traffickers who want to bring guns Guns into our borough to sell to our children, Queens is closed for business. Katz worried about the citywide problem of stray bullets injuring innocent bystanders, a problem that has claimed several Queens residents. Mary de Blasio says the answer is for the DAs to do more to take down gangs. How do you feel about that? What's your take on it? Is that the way to stop the stray bullet shootings? People that bring guns into our district, into our borough, and they sell them to our kids are criminals and they need to be prosecuted. But she says it's also about outreach to stop kids from joining gangs. You have to make sure that the gangs are not the family that people turn to. And representing the most diverse county in the nation, she's also committed to working to calm racial tensions and stop hate crimes by celebrating the 190 different ethnic groups in the borough. Diversity can be such an unbelievably great thing for our families. During the campaign, Caban tried to paint Katz as the machine candidate, not a progressive. Ironic because Katz ran against the old boys club to win an assembly seat, and once there, she stood up to power. I was the one who instituted the tolling of the statute of limitations for child sexual abuse. I took on the Roman Catholic Church at the time when no one was talking about the fact that there was sexual abuse happening for children. Well, Melinda Katz says the diversity of the borough will be reflected in her office, in the prosecutors and investigators she hires. The Board of Elections is set to certify Katz's victory next week. Lawyers for Caban say they're not giving up and will file one more court challenge on August 6th. Not over yet, as far as they're concerned. Well, as far as Katz is concerned, yes. it's over. Yes. Okay. It's gone to November. She certainly is. Thank you.